Alright, so I got my books. I'm right here. Okay. Just go to my channel. This is the word live. Okay, we got this. We totally got this. All right. Da, 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 da. Okay, John Bostic's here. Thank you for tuning in. Let me just share the link. Share a link to the stream real quick. So how are you guys doing today? It's the weekend, I know. Part of me is like excited for this and then another part of me is like oh my god this is we're about to read some garbage okay so Matt's in the chat thank you for tuning in Alexander Jackson thank you so much thank you guys for tuning in There we go. So I just posted it on Twitter. Okay. Yeah, I can do better art than those awful looking, yeah. Awful looking illustrations. Don't be a veggie boomer. <laughs> Translation, I hate you <laughs> for getting in the house. Oh my gosh. Alright, so yesterday I put out a community poll. Community tab poll. Tad poll. Ugh. And I asked you guys, like, which one should I read first? Now, keep in mind, I was only able to, like, post, like, four options even though there's like six, but that's okay because a lot of you, the majority of you guys picked this one. You guys want me to read the foolish fig from far away first and veggie maniacs in the chat. Thank you for tuning in. So yeah, we're going to be reading this one first. So I'm going to be reading this and yeah, showing you the pages. I'm going to slap this onto my desk. I see Ultra Michael in the chat. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, so we're having a pretty good turnout so far. Yeah, so far so good. So, without further ado. Oh, wait, before before we get, yeah, like once we're done reading this, I'll put up another poll asking you guys what to read next. So don't you worry, we got some great content today, so Okay, we're going to start with the first book. That's pretty cool. Matt the Cat uh, streams Thousand Year Door. Um, the original version. So that was pretty cool. Alright. So, here we go. We got our first option. Okay. So, first impressions. Foolish fig from far away. 
it's like this ain't even a fairy tale like spoiler alert it's not a fairy tale you guys so the far far away whatever it's like whatever perfect for early readers hi yyc welcome to the stream you're just in time for us to dissect this book like what's its deal what's the deal here all right written by Erin and illustrated by Corey come on Corey you could do better caught up in a ketchup apocalypse I don't know anything about ketchup apocalypses or whatever anywho okay so I assume this is dad asparagus Oh, it's a flannel graph to illustrate. Anyways, what's it say? Today, we're all going to Fairville. It's going to be an exciting time for everyone. But remember, we need to make wise choices. Should we talk about making wise choices before we go? Ooh, flannel graph. Okay, Junior's pretending to be all excited. I mean, geez Louise. Okay, what's this next one? All right, who could tell me some good choices to make at the fair? Don't spend too much money. It's gonna last us all day and all and on all the rides. Right, the super de duper looper. Okay, Barney, see something. Okay, don't talk to strangers. It's not safe. Okay, you've talked to strangers before, Junior. So don't act like you didn't do anything the last couple of times. What was it? Fib? Rummerweed? Anyways. We should always be with a buddy. Yeah, you know, Laura, you know the girl that you took with you and y'all got introduced to the Rummerweed and Rummerweed was a stranger. I mean, okay, you hypocrite. Okay, right, the super de duper looper. Don't eat too much food. It's hot out and we don't want to get sick. Anything else? Right, the super de duper looper. I assume that's what this thing is, this roller coaster. Anyway, uh, keep in mind as I'm reading this I'm also critiquing this because people ought to know like why I'm not a huge fan of of these comics okay so they're at the fair okay kids go have fun and remember to make wise choices this is gonna be the best day ever meanwhile I assume this is the foolish fig and he's tied up the ticket holder, ticket master, ticket terror. I don't know. It's like right off the bat. Oh, look, the, there's George. Good morning, George. How are you? Anywho, uh, George ain't important in this story. Okay, there it is. Let's go get our tickets. The super is going to be the most exciting ride ever. This is all I ever wanted to do my whole life. Really? This is what you wanted to do your whole life was ride a stupid roller coaster? I mean, you would think that, like, getting a, getting a really great career in life or uh, having your own place or whatever be the best thing that you ever wanted to do in your life, but no. Okay, so Tian's in the chat. Thank you for tuning in. And um, actually, this is a different VeggieTales universe. That junior isn't canon. We're not supposed to talk to strangers. And no, I don't have any extra money. Oh, really? Well, how about a dollar and 28 cents? <laughs> okay, so came just in time. Take a shot every time you hear Super D Deeper Looper. <laughs> okay. 
They kept George's original design, but not the veggies. Yeah, I found that out just now. Reading, what's that? <laughs> Hi, Junior Boy. Thank you for tuning in. And don't worry. JB Plush is over here. These drawings look boring. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so where were we? Oh no, I'm not tall enough to ride. Uh, it's debatable. It's debatable because I I know this because um, I'm four foot eleven, but there'll be certain convenience stores where I'm right at the five foot mark. But the thing is, this ain't a convenience store. This is this is the fair. So I assume this guy's going to tell him, hey, like, you can go ride it anyways. Fought a dragon with nothing but a shoe. Fought a dragon. I'm with nothing but a shoe. <laughs> okay. Hey, kids, are you ready to buy your tickets for the ride? We're not tall enough. We thought we were going to get to ride. Well, I can't sell you a ticket because that would be wrong of me. But you can always sneak on. Sneak on the ride? Yeah, sneak on. After all, it's not fair you can't ride the coolest, scariest, fastest ride at the park. Uh, that's debatable. I think Cedar Point, um... <laughs> I don't know if Cedar Point has, has a coolest, scariest, faster ride in this super de duper looper. I don't know. What do you think, Junior Boy? If you're too short for the ride, that just means you're short enough to sneak under the rope. Okay, somebody get security. So I assume they're, they've are they already said yes to this. Oh wait. Come back whenever you want, kids. I'll look the other way and you can sneak right on. It's only fair. Come on, guys. Maybe we'll be tall enough next year. I'm sure there are other fun things to do. Yeah! Can't be just that that roller coaster. Okay, same person. So it's already getting suspicious. I have to see what this looks like. But most likely there'll be something more scarier at, at Cedar Point. <laughs> I knew it. Wolfpack Playhouse. Thank you for tuning in. So what do we got next? The dunk tank line is very long. Oh man, it's gonna take forever to get through this line. I just wanna have some fun. Well, hello again, little guy. Why are you waiting in this huge line? I have to wait my turn. That's what I'm supposed to do. It's the right thing and it's polite. It's like, screw you and your politeness. <laughs> okay, so what does the next one say? I'm too hungry to wait in this line. We're going to be here forever. Come on, guys. What if you didn't have to? You're young. No one will even care if you just cut ahead in line. Hi, Jack. Thank you for tuning in. No, sir. I'll wait in this very, very long line all day if I have to. Cutting line wouldn't be fair. I think you mean cutting in line, not cutting line. I don't know. It was like, it's your story. It's your story. Don't worry. Sit yourself. You'll be wearing a, waiting a very, very long time, kid. Because what's this line even for? Like a dunk tank. Huh. Riveting. I thought it'd be for something more exciting. You can't even have cell phones in line? The, what are they supposed to do in line? Like twiddle their thumbs or whatever? All right, step right up, step right up. Get your corn dogs here. Oh, I love corn dogs. How much are they? Well, how much money do you have? I'm sure you could spend it all here filling up on delicious corn dogs. Oh, I only wanted one. Here's the first one. It's gonna be delicious, but I just know you want another one. So I made it for you. Uh. And you're telling a little girl this? 
Oh, okay, thanks. And another, and another, and another, and another, blah, blah, blah. I'm so full. But the seventh one always tastes the best. Okay, whatever. Okay, so the arcade, I assume. Ah, game over. Put a few more dollars in. Spend it all. The rules are you have to knock these down. But if you really wanted, you could throw those balls anywhere you want. Throw my balls anywhere you want. Really? <laughs> and this just is, this is like a clusterfuck. I mean, I mean, it's colorful. I'll give it that, but it's still a clusterfuck. Throw out your ambitions. Go break all the rules. There's no need for fairness. It's time to act like fools. Hence the name, Foolish Fig from Far Away. Might have to do with the podcast nightmare. <laughs> Psychedelic, yeah. <laughs> Spend all you want. Eat all you want. Do all you want. Throw your <laughs> Okay, and this just like them going crazy, going all out. Pie wars. Duke and the Great Pie War much. Okay. Okay, kids, you know what to do. Go out into the park and do everything you ever dreamed of. You don't have to let anyone or anything stop you from doing all you want. It's like automatically. It's like they had their reservations at first. They're like, huh, I don't know if we should do this or not. But it's like automatically. They're just sucked in. Like, they're basically sheep. Oh, and we got this big old. Look at that. Okay, and Junior and Laura are doing a mukbang. And you know what? It's raining money. Here comes the money. Money, money, money. <laughs> okay, and they're sitting in this one seat. Okay, destroying property. Oh my god, this was what I was talking about yesterday. It's like, lady boy, you oh, help is needed. Something has happened at Fairville. No one is making good choices. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, junior friends and are going there today. Lady boy, I'm afraid to say that junior and his friends are the ones making foolish choices. It seems they have been influenced by a fig. So we got a social media influencer doing all that. <laughs> Alfred, prepare the Larry Copter. The kids need my help to handle that foolish fig's influence. Really? You're not going to take the Larry Mobile? I mean, it's your choice, man, but, you know. So this is the super deep duper uh, looper. So what do you think, Junior? Is the roller coasters at Cedar Point more intimidating than this? Anyway. Okay, meanwhile, they should have put like a text saying, meanwhile, because we're transitioning from scene to scene. Okay, kids, here's the plan. You can sneak past the line by using the back entrance. It's for workers only, but I have the key and can let you in. I'll then run up to the platform where you get on so no one will stop you. It will be so much fun. This is going to be the best ride ever. I just hope I don't get sick from all those donuts and slushies and these loops. That would be so funny if one of the kids threw up in this comment. Are you sure this is safe, Junior? I'm having second thoughts. Okay, that ship is sailed, Laura. Because you were eating corn dogs like nah. Oh, don't be so scared, Laura. We won't get caught. Fig has been looking out for us all day. But we aren't really big enough for this ride, Junior. No, but we sure ate a lot. I ain't enough to fill up the seat on any ride. I'm scared, guys. This is a really big ride. Last chance... Last chance, uh, last 
last chance to back out. Get on out, or you might never get to ride the scary so fast super supendous super de duper looper. That was a tongue twister. Let's go! This is gonna be awesome! And the rest of the page is like negative space. I mean, it's the roller coaster track, but still. Alright, so Elizabeth the Cucumber is here. Okay, so here we get a full shot. Alright, so here's a better, better shot. Look at the Super D Duper Looper. There's your ride, guys. Does it look intimidating? Or is it just nah? <laughs> okay, let me read y'all's comments real quick. Who needs a pie war? What about a pizza war? It's raining money! Remember there is a Superman roller coaster at Six Flags, Georgia. I saw a lot of the loose articles all over the area. Phones, keys, wallets. This ride doesn't look that intimidating. I know, right? But they act like it's dangerous. The Goliath coaster at Six Flags, Georgia. Yeah, I saw John's post. Yeah, I saw his video. He did a pretty good job with his artwork. All right, so. All right, overall consensus. This is not intimidating in the slightest. Anywho, so what do we got next? See, that wasn't such a bad choice. We made it with no problems and had lots of fun. Hey, how come we aren't stopping? Why stop with just one ride? One bad choice leads to another, so one ride should lead to another. Right? And another, and another. But we don't want to go again. Too bad. We want to get off. Someone help us. We want our mommy to many donuts. He's going to throw up, you guys. He's going to throw up. <laughs> Anyways, finally, Larry Boy shows up. Junior, Laura, what are you doing on this ride? It's not safe for you. You aren't big enough yet. Help us get off the ride. Fig convinced us it was a good idea. Oh, I forgot this part. We know now. Yeah, no shit, you know now. I see him. He's got the controls locked, but a hero can fix that. I am the hero. It's like, hey, foolish fig, you convinced my friends to make bad choices. Now make a good choice and step away from the controls. Well, why should I? What could possibly be more fun than this? You call this fun? The kids are scared and they all look green, even Laura. Yeah, sure, she looks green. Hey, they made their choices. And do you have a better way to entertain a fair fig like me? What about facing me in a in a dunk tank contest? Oh, I thought there was gonna be a boss battle or fight scene. But no, it's a dunk contest. Dunk tank contest. It's like, now we're talking dunk tank challenge accepted. Pulls the lever and stops the ride. Ah, I thought it would never end. It's like, thanks, Larry Boy. Are you sure you want to go through with this? What if the foolish fig wins the contest? Don't worry, Junior. I made the choice to help you guys out. Now let's see just how well this fig can throw. Okay, there's something... Okay. 
I have a feeling I've seen this part before. I've seen this artwork before. Hmm. The expression on Larry Boy's face. Let me do like a side by side comparison. Okay, so his face right here looks similar to his face on this book. So not only are the are the drawings a little, you know, brushed, but they also copy and paste some of their some of their art art. So I thought that looked familiar. So anyway, right down to the contest. Be my guest pick. No, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to make the right choice for you, Larry Boy. No flipping coins. I'm going to throw the ball first. Be my guest fig. We'll find out if that's the right choice or not. Okay, even the contest looks lazy. I mean, seriously. Again, there's no boss battle. Come on. It's like, dude. Okay, so he's throwing the ball. And Larry Boy catches it. Nice try, Fig. But no dunking of this superhero today. And I know you're not even a real Fairville employee. It's like, that was, that was already obvious to begin with. So he hits the ball right on the target. And I assume Foolish Fig drowns, because that's what it looks like. So, Foolish Fig dead, huh? Larry Boy wins! Hooray! Oh no, Foolish Fig is alright. He's, he's gonna be okay, you guys. <laughs> All right, thanks again, Larry Boy. Next time, we'll remember what we've learned and make good choices every time. Sound? That sounds wise to me already, Junior. After all, acting like a fool can leave you all washed up. Okay, that's a good pun. I'll, I'll, I'll give it that. Meanwhile, there's a scallion that got tied up earlier. I got tied up earlier at the ticket box office or whatever. For some reason he got untied by security. I don't know. Because, let me show you. That was him at the beginning. And now, and this is him now. It's like, hey, what did I miss? And look at that. We got more books. We got more VeggieTales books. Yeah, the reason why I didn't get League of Incredible Vegetables was because, yeah, wanted to focus more on the Larry Boy comics. But even then, look at that. Look at all this. It's just it's like lazy drawing. Why? Okay. Back over to you, OBF. I had to take my jacket off because it was getting warm in here. So that was Foolish Fig from Far Away. Um, yeah, this is the back cover. And the intimidating roller coaster. Which is totally debunked. It was like the fair sex, Cedar Point, go to Cedar Point. I want to go to Cedar Point. Okay, so how would I rate this? Uh, hmm, on a scale of one to ten, I'd say I'd say five out of ten. Five out of ten because. It's average. It's average. We don't see much Larry Boy. 
is like we have to get to half of the book in order to get our titular character. So I gotta write down these ratings. I gotta write it. I gotta write them down on my phone. All right, so Larry Boy comics. Okay, so I gave Foolish Fig five out of ten. Da -da 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 -da. All right, so as I mentioned earlier. Um, okay, let me, let me read y'all's comments real quick. Okay, there it is. Worst case scenario. Probably said it for the, for the kids. So was, that was, okay. Did you even check to see if anyone was in there? You know what, forget it. I don't want to be involved in this anymore. I'm leaving. Lames. <laughs> Yeah, time passed in order to cover that. There should have been like a meanwhile. Like a transitional, like, transitional wording. It's like a few moments later. Yeah, they were too lazy for that. I could do better fan art than that piece of garbage. So could I. If I ever lived near Michigan, I'd probably go to Cedar Points. Gonna get wasted at a pizza place and forget all about this nonsense. Please. Cool comic. <laughs> Thanks, Avery Bowen. But I gave it a 5 out of 10, so it's half good, half bad. The half of the stuff is bad, so there's that. So it's kind of mid. Yeah, I'd say it's mid. So I'm going to do another poll. To show you, like, which ones to do next. Okay. So let me type it in real quick. Which one to read next? Can we do more than one option? Okay, so I can only do four. So... And there's still five books. Alright, so there's that. If you're liking the stream, leave a like on the stream. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and subscribe. Um, Angel Cat, thank you for tuning in. You're just in time for another poll. So I put the poll up on screen. So we just got done reading a uh, Foolish Fig. Alright, so... We got six votes in so far. We'll do it for like five minutes. Keep it up for five minutes. Meanwhile, I'm going to have a little bit of my salad.
Mm -mm -mm. I'm doing great, fairy tale hero. Mm. Oh yeah, John Bostick, um, uh, made a really good point. Uh, last night I was checking my YouTube channel, and my Dave and the Giant Pickle review it reached a thousand, over a thousand views. So I just want to thank you guys for. For making that happen. It's like I knew you guys wanted to see a review of uh, Dave and the Giant Pickle. You guys wanted to know my thoughts on it. <clears throat> it's a pretty good episode. And. Yeah. And that's what kick started the. The Larry Boy anything and everything. Okay, sorry I missed your previous stream. That's okay, Jack. It's all good. You're welcome, big sis. <laughs> okay, so Possum Skin asked a, asked a question. What VeggieTales episode are you going to review next? Hmm, that's a good question. You'll see. <laughs> Alright, so we get a couple more minutes on the, on the poll. If you haven't voted already you can do so now for a couple more minutes so far brood beat is winning so like i was saying it's, it's mid like the villain not too intimidating. It's like a generic story, like of of kids breaking the rules when they should be following the rules. And we already know that the drawing the illustrations are bullshit. They're blah. I mean, this could have been a better story if it had, like, a better villain, better illustrations. A better scenario and a lot more screen time. A lot more pages with our titular character, Larry Boy. <laughs> Matt, <laughs> you silly goose. Oh, woe is me. So that's why I gave that book 5 out of 10. And keep in mind, I'm going to write down my ratings. Okay, so Foolish Fig gets 5 out of 10. Um, let me turn down the brightness. 5 out of 10. Kind of sort of saw it, but you know. I'll, I'll post it, post my ratings later on. Anyway, let's end the poll here. <clears throat> What'd you guys pick? Half of you guys want Rude Beat, so we're going to be reading this one next. Okay, so first impression, this is the Rude Beat. Kind of looks similar to the one from Beauty and the Beat, but I promise you this is different. This is a different, this is a different beat. And a beat goes on. And I wonder what this, this contraption is. What is this building? It's Josh and the big wall all over again. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> they didn't even try with the... T it's a tower. <laughs> An activity tower. It looks generic. It looks lazy. What's the secret to climbing the cantankerous tower? I don't know. We're about to find out.
isn't the beat from Beauty and the Beat bigger than this scrawny person? Isn't he bigger than that? Anywho, let's turn our attention back over to, to the desk here. Alrighty, so we got our title, we got our cover. Perfect for early readers. Yay. Okay, so here we are at Camp Cranky. Okay, notice that Cranky is like stapled on there. All right, I'm so excited. Today's the wall climbing ropes race. This is gonna be awesome. I can't wait to see how high we go. Um, we won't have to climb too high, will we? I heard this camp needs a counselor to help with safety, fun, and teamwork. Okay, who is that? Somebody said this from off camera. Oh my God, it's Larry Boy. He's going to be the camp counselor. I'm legitimately excited. Okay, I'm that camp counselor. That's right. To keep everyone safe. Keep everyone extra safe today. I've come to help with the course. There's no wall too high. No race too ropey. Now let's get started. Meanwhile, we got this rude guy. Anyway, first you will climb the small wall, peasy easy. Then you'll climb the ropes to the top of that tree. My favorite part is next, you get in the basket and right down into the great forest valley where you where final challenge awaits, the cantankerous tower of Camp Cranky. This is like it's a stupid tower. It is It's like Terrible, lazy, and ah! Eh. I want it to be Barnaby, like Barnaby's mansion. I mean, hang on. I, I, I could show this. Hang on. Could you hold our place, Junior Boy? Pretty please? Yeah. Thank you, baby. Alright, I'm going to show you guys, like, I'm going to show you the difference between skill and laziness. Look at this. This is so amazing. This is Barnaby's mansion. And this is the cantankerous tower of bullcrap. Which one looks better? This one. This one took a lot of time and effort to build to make for a Billy Bust Up. And you know what? Billy Bust Up's game devs are gonna improve this and make it look a hundred times better. Do you see this? I'm telling you, this, these illustrations are garbage. Okay, thanks for holding my place. You're welcome. Oh, he gave me a kiss. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. So, who wants to go first? Make way, make way. My name is Rudy Beats, and I'm going to leave all of you kids in the dust. Eat my dust. No one's as fast and strong as I am. Wow, he's really fast. I was like, dude, this guy's a try hard. I mean, shoot. He's like, I'm I'm afraid to climb that high. Don't worry, Laura, you can do it. Yeah, just jump a little higher. Okay, guys. I I, I think I can do it. 
What are you? Vegetables or chicken livers? It's so obvious that they're vegetables, so your insult has no meaning. It's like, wow, he's really rude. I'm surprised this, his name isn't Rudy Rude Beats. No wonder they call this place Camp Cranky. Thanks for helping me, guys. Uh, I don't like this. I was like, look at Junior Asparagus. It's like his his bottom half is gonna come apart. Alright, so Veggie Maniac's leaving. Thank you for tuning in. It's always appreciated. So you have a great day. So like I was saying, this this looks awkward. It looks like part of his body is gonna fall apart. And you know what? That's a good question. Uh, Junior doesn't have his hat. It's probably because these are the Veggie Tales in the House designs. So he didn't really like wear a baseball cap or whatever. It's like, Rudy, is that really the way you want to treat others? What if you need their help one day? Why would I need their help? I'm the best beat ever. Maybe Larry Boy can help talk some sense into Rudy. I sure hope so. Well, so far he's not doing a good job doing it. Okay, what's he saying now? It's like, you must all want to be slow roasted. I've never seen vegetables so slow. None of you will be able to catch me. Help, guys, I'm too scared. You know, actually, I climbed this at a, at a retreat before. And it was pretty cool. It's a little higher. And you know what, guys? I'm going to... Nose is getting a little darker. Well, I don't want there to be a glare. I'll just probably turn on the room light. Okay, so that's a little better. All right, so what do we have? Laura, we, we'll never catch up if you keep being so slow. They're just ropes, Laura. Maybe Rudy is right. We need to go faster. We've got to show them that we're not chicken livers. But I'm scared and I'm slipping. We got you, Laura, but we really need you to hurry up. Now they're being rude to her. I mean, seriously. Helping her only slowed you all down. Teamwork is for losers, losers. Catch me if you can. Okay, guys, I don't want to get in. We can't keep waiting on you, Laura. Come on, Davis. We've got to catch up with Ruby. With Rudy. Ruby. Huh, whatever. Me first. Get out of my way. No, me first. I'm fastest. Davis, get out of my basket. I'm first. No way. You're not beating me. Okay, and they're just going to go and do whatever. Fine, I'll just do it on my own. No need to be scared, right? See? There's even a net down there. Oh, no, help! I got you. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, Larry Boy's helping her. That's nice. Well, at least somebody's not being rude to her. I mean, yeah. Normally, it's the other way around where Laura's being rude to another person, but... Yeah. You two need to stop fighting with and stop trying to keep up with Rudy Beats. Don't you understand that he's just being rude? He's trying to get us to fight and it's working. Let's show him we're better than that and work together instead. We should be helping each other, not fighting each other. 
Okay, what in the world? It's like, what is this? Did they piss on each other? Like, if this is supposed to be mud, then it's not... I was like, what's going on here? Yeah, that really takes you out of the moment. Like, right after we see a heartwarming scene of Larry Boy uh, caring, caring about Laura. I was like, what is... Okay, we're moving on. It's like... You could catch up to me even if you did work together. You're all too slow and nowhere near as strong as I am. Just try to keep up. You'll you'll keep on falling all over each other. I, I'm sorry, Laura. You're right. We need to work together. Yeah, who cares about what Rudy says? He might be ahead of us, but we're all friends doing this together. That's the spirit, kids. Let's go finish this course together and have fun. Let's go. Okay, sure. They give us more detail on the cantankerous tower bullshit or whatever. But Barbie's mansion is a lot more exciting than this this thing. Would they make this with Legos or whatever? We made it to the cantankerous tower and Rudy isn't at the top yet. We can make it. Okay, so what's next? Okay, kids, this is the final wall in the course. It's so high. You'll have to figure out how to get all the way to the top. Who can do it? I've been here the longest. There's no way any of you will figure it out before I do. Just give up now. It doesn't matter what you do. I could sit here all day. I know I'll beat Laura for sure. Cut it out, Rudy. Laura's our friend. Yeah, quit being so rude. Then prove me wrong, if you can. Okay. It's okay, guys. We can do this, right? I believe in all of you. Think it through and make a plan. How can you get up there, Laura? That tower wall is pretty big. Think hard. It's like, you could do it, Laura. Don't be scared of how high it is. Yeah, we'll be here to catch you. You don't have to worry about falling. It's so, so cantankerous, gasp. But you guys will help me. It's like, what in the world? <laughs> it's the leaning tower of cantankerous BS. The leaning tower of crap. Hey guys, I have an idea. Let's make steps and help Laura to get to the top first. <laughs> okay. It's like, yeah, I made it. You did it. No, we did it, Rudy. You need to get up here too. But how? Here, let me help you, and then we can help everybody else, too. It's like, Laura, I'm sorry I was being, I was so rude. I thought being rude made me special, but now I see that being kind and helpful, and helpful to others is what's really important. Kids, looks like you all earned valuable lessons this week. The real test wasn't the obstacle course, Larry Boy's saying this. It was learning to work together as a team to be gentle, patient, and kind, no matter what. Just like in Titus 3, chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. Okay, what's Titus, uh, Titus 3, verse 1 and 2? I'm going to look it up real quick. Do they even have it on here? Or do they? Okay. 
Okay, so remind them to be under the control of magistrates and authorities to be obedient, to be open to every good enterprise. They are to slander no one, to be peaceful, considerate, exercising all graciousness towards everyone. Uh, okay. Do they even have the Bi Oh, they have the Bible verse here. So I didn't really need to look it up. But when you're you're showing this to kids, like I don't think I don't think kids are going to look for it. Oh, uh, well, they'll tell they'll tell their parents to look it up, but they won't think to go to the back of the book in order to find the verse, you know? Okay, so Laura, this camp kindness medal is for you. I was like, not anymore it isn't. But I thought it... Oh! Okay, so it's supposed to read like this. Laura, this Camp Kindness Medal is for you. But I thought it was Camp Cranky. Not anymore it isn't. Okay, so, yeah, welcome to kindness. Welcome to Camp Kindness. Okay, so the order was, the order of the dialogue was pretty confusing. Yeah, they, they should have fixed that. Unless they assumed that we were going to read like this. I mean, people usually read like this. Or if it's an anime manga, people will read like this. Alright, so that was, that was a little confusing. All right, so back over to me. So, rude beat. Um, it was it was pretty okay, uh, okay for the most part. Okay. Seems being rude to this. Guy. <laughs> No, they didn't even show. Yeah, that's what I mean by lazy illustrations and stuff. And transitions. Scene transitions, that's what I meant. Uh, this one was a little better because at least um, Larry Boy is seen throughout this thing. And he's, like, trying to teach the kids, like, uh good morals. I mean, that's what a superhero is supposed to do is be a good ro role model to the kids, you know? So, I give this one a 7 out of 10. The only downside was, like, the illustrations being meh, and we're missing some scenes. And this confusing dialogue placement. So yeah, I give this one a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Alright, so next book. What are we going to do next? Alright, so let me make another poll. Okay. Yeah, I'm 
guess this is about that. Alright, so before I put this poll up, we got four books left. We got Pridosaurus, which is this ugly dinosaur character. Or we got Merciless Mango, making a big mess all over town. Or we got Reckless Ruckus, like this big roll of... Uh, rubber bands or we got the quitter critter squad with a bunch of monkeys so here you go five minutes for that poll I give it a bleh out of ten Oh, we got some competition between Pridosaurus and Merciless Mango. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to put away this bowl because I just got done with the salad. Be right back. The alarm goes on. He's like, I want more PS5s. Looks at Michael's wallet. Ah, perfect. Yeah, I just saw the the pole fluctuate. <laughs> No, that doesn't scare me. Time to get my PS5s. Mm. Alright, so... All right, so we got a couple more minutes on the on the poll. And yeah, check it out. There's Barnaby. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> Yeah. 
Here's one. Let's cause for a hero to shine. Runs to Junior Boy's location. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Newsflash. Those books and that face don't freak me out at all. Pulls out phone and go see Amazon. Time to purchase. <clears throat> All right, so it looks like Pridosaurus is going to be the next book that we're going to read, that we're going to dissect. Yeah, notice how I say dissect instead of read because that's basically what we're doing. We're picking apart the books that we're reading. So... Okay, so I ended the poll. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> All right, so this is what we're gonna be reading next. Larry Boy and the Pride of Storis. And this is what the Pride of Saurus looks like. I assume they're at a TV station or whatever. Don't know what's going on. We're about to find out. So let's let's dive into the masterpiece known as Pride of Saurus. Again, it's perfect for early readers because, oh, this is a preschool show. Okay, we got a full body look at the Pridosaurus. And it's like, today I'd like to introduce you to our foreign exchange student, Hugo. So I assume that's that's who this guy is, Hugo. Okay, whatever. It's like, okay, well, there's Madame Blueberry, and she's a teacher for some reason. She's not the mayor of Bollingburg, that's for darn sure. Okay, Hugo. Would you like to tell the class a few things about yourself? If I told you everything awesome about myself, we'd be here all day. I come from a faraway land called Pride Island. Which basically, since it's far, far away, it don't exist. Anyways, I come to this school because I've heard just how awesome it is. Not every school has a superhero protector like Larry Boy. I can't wait to meet him and find out just how awesome he really is. It's like, they also have a poster of Larry Boy back here. I was like, there's like two different posters. So anyways. Okay, class. You'll get to talk to... Hugo later. Now, if you open your books to page 42, oh, shoot, we gotta open to page 42. There's no 42. There's no numbers. There's no, okay, zero out of 10. There's no page numbers. Anyways, back to the story. Psst, you, what's your name? Me? My name's Davis. Well, Davis, I can tell you you're special. You're not like the other peas around here. I'm not. No, you're not. You're round, perfectly round. Some might even say awesomely round. Okay, so you're calling this guy fat. 
I was like, gee, thanks. I don't think anyone's ever noticed before. Well, everyone should notice. You shouldn't hide it anymore. I shouldn't? What should I do? You need to take a selfie, Davis. A uh, little trend there. It was like, show off that perfect realness to the world. They'll be begging for your autograph. Click. Awesome. It was like, hold up. Is that supposed to be like a phone or something? I thought that was a mirror. Like, Okay, they're too lazy to make a smartphone, to draw a smartphone. Anyways, it's art class. Okay, you see, here they have a transitional box, transitional phrase, later that day in art class. How come they didn't have that in the other books? It's like, hi, Laura. Oh, hi, Hugo. I sure am glad to meet you. You're glad? I'm enthusiastic. I've heard about... All about how great an artist you are. Even all the way out at Pride Island. You have? Yes, I have. You're the best undiscovered secret in the vegetable art world. It's like, I bet you get perfect A's in art class, don't you? Well, not always. Last time we had to draw a vegetable, but I drew an apple because I liked apples, so I got a B. You got a B? A B? How dare she? The teacher must be jealous of your amazing talent. I don't know. I mean, it wasn't even that good of an apple drawing. It had a bite taken out of it. No, this is unacceptable. You are the best vegetable artist I've met all day. You deserve to get an A from now on, no matter what you do. Maybe you're right. If I'm famous all the way down on Pride Island, how could she possibly give me an B? I know just what you need to do. What? You need to get your name out. No more humility. No more working hard for an A. Everyone should know who you are. You should get a really big sign and put, an, put your art on it so everyone can see how awesome you are. You're awesome. You're right, I'm awesome. I'll do it. See, we got another transition during lunch that day. Hi, Laura. Hi, Davis. Uh, who are you? Oh, hi, new guy. I wanted to say hello this morning, but I didn't get a chance. I'm Junior Asparagus. Uh... You can't sit with us. But I always sit here. Laura and Davis are my friends. Uh, not today you don't. This table is reserved for people who are awesome. What have you done that's awesome today? I don't know. Then you don't deserve to sit with us. If you want to hang out with us, you got to be awesome. Just being Junior Asparagus isn't good enough. Bye, Laura. Bye, Davis. I guess I'll go sit over there. When you decide to do something awesome, let me know, kid. Okay, first off, I, I, here's the problem. It's like, you're the new kid, and now all of a sudden you're isolating people and you're telling people what to do. It's like, when you're the new kid at school, you don't, you don't have that right. You don't, it's like, you gotta earn that. Okay, so another transition later that day. Okay, team. The bases are loaded. We got two outs. This is our chance to win. Do you really think we can, Junior? I don't think I could score a home run. You could do it, AJ. I know you can. You don't really think he can, do you? You're a better kicker than the than he is. You could win the game for your team junior this could be your awesome moment because remember he wasn't allowed to sit with his friends earlier you're right hey guys i'll kick instead leave it to me so i assume that's his kick and he kicks it out the park okay so i get some clout points i get some 
I did good. Right, Mr. Dinosaur? We did it. We won the game. You did it, Junior. You scored with the final kick all by yourself. I did it. I won the game. I won the game all by myself. And what about us? I'm awesome. Okay, I think it's time we reward ourselves for how great we are. What do you mean, Hugo? Like ice cream? No, skipping school. We don't need to stay here. You already know everything your teachers teach anyway, don't you? You're all awesome. Well, um, yeah, but where would we go? Where all the cool kids go. We're going to the mall. Uh, not Dave and Buster's? Let's go to the mall. Oh, wait, there's no transition. There's no later that day or whatever. I was like, where is that? Inconsistent. Oh, my God. Anyway, so Officer Scooter's here. Oh, my, is that Junior? Larry Boy, come in. Come in, Larry Boy. Larry Boy, you must come quickly. It's Junior. He's at the mall. Junior? But it's a school day. Is he on a field trip? No, Larry Boy. He's with Laura and Davis and some kind of frightful Pridosaurus. They can't see him as he really is and they're skipping school. Larry Boy, come quick. How come I never got to take field trips to the mall? Okay, so again, this dialogue was a little confusing. Because I was almost going to go up and down, but instead I had to go down up. Uh, placement, awkward. It was like, whoosh! Was that fast enough for you? Ah, where did you come from? <laughs> Look at his expression. That was dumb. I was at the pet store. How come they never have any water buffaloes? Junior, Laura, Davis, it is I, Larry Boy, come to save you from the menacing Priosaurus. <laughs> uh. Okay. Uh, we don't need saving, Larry Boy, and we certainly don't need your help. You don't? Yeah, you show him, Junior. Show him you don't need... Anyone to save you, kick that ball all the way down the mall. And then bonk. <laughs> yeah, this is this is getting stupid now. Benson, are you okay? Wait a minute. Wait. Did they just call Officer Scooter Benson? Oh my god. So now we're renaming characters from the original VeggieTales uh, canon. I'll be fine, Larry boy, but the kids, they need your help more than ever. Save them before that Pridosaurus fills them with even more pride. Anywho, there's a TV studio. Okay. Okay, kids, this is our chance. Today, we're the most famous kids at Bumleyburg Elementary. See? Yeah, I told you this was Bumleyburg. So, this should have been Officer Scooter, not this Benson, whatever the frick they call him. It was like, tomorrow we'll be internet famous. We'll have thousands of people viewing our videos, watching, wanting to be just like us. I'm not even allowed on the internet. Are you sure people want to be like us? Yes, Laura, you're awesome. And being awesome means that you're so much better than everyone else. You're awesome, aren't you? I guess so. Then it's time for us to prove it. But how? Cameras. Okay. This is social media. This is social media in a nutshell.
Okay, here we go. Hey, uh, oh, no, that's not, that's not what it says. Here in this very food court, there are cameras everywhere. We're going to show everyone how awesome we are. Davis, show them. Wait. Davis, show. This is in capital letters. I mean, that's not. That's not good punctuation. If you're starting with a name, Davis, comma, capital S, show them. It's like, got a little punctuation problem. It's supposed to be lowercase, not uppercase. Anyways, show them how being perfectly round makes you an awesome dancer. Laura, I see a sign that needs you to redesign it. Junior, those balls aren't going to kick themselves. <laughs> he starts kicking people in the balls. <laughs> yeah, kick them in the balls and run. <laughs> hey, and me? I'm going to show the world how a Pridosaurus always needs more. I'm going to eat every last bit of food here. Rawr! <laughs> okay, so here we are at the food court. <laughs> Hugo is right. I can make this sign much better. Yeah, get rid of this negative space. <laughs> if I just paint a little here and do this here, wait until everyone sees how great my painting is. Okay, where the hell is Larry Boy? Where is he? Welcome to Mall TV. Oh, yeah, look at me go. There's like too much going on here. It's like, I'm gonna kick all these balls and chew off my incredible skill. Yeah, it's an incredible skill of of hurting people. It's like, don't do it. Don't do this. This is, like, this is bad. This is not what you should be teaching kids. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, wait. She's falling? It's like, help! It's like, I got you. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a freaking minute. It's like, this is the second time that um, Larry Boy saves Laura from something. Because you remember in the Rude Beat book, uh, he saves her from falling. And now he saves her again from falling. I mean, she's accident prone at this point. Alright. Oh no, my masterpiece is ruined! Laura, there are much more important things happening right now. You could have been hurt falling off that ladder. But I oh, but I wanted everyone to see my awesome art. Someday they will. But not until the right time and place. And you probably won't have to be working on a ladder to do it. Meanwhile, there's like a bunch of balls sticking out like from behind him. Or it's just like the chaos that's going on behind him. I mean, you can have this talk later, Larry Boy, but you gotta save the other kids. Oh, wow, that was scary. Thanks, Larry Boy. You really are quite round, aren't you? I really am, but maybe I need to learn how to control my roundness before showing off all my dance moves. So wise and so round for such a young pea. Thanks, Larry Boy. Okay, do it, Junior. Don't do it. Wait. Don't do what? I need to prove how awesome I am. I'm going to kick this ball right through the window. I guess through this window. How will that prove how awesome you are? I think that's really called being mean, not to mention illegal. Maybe it's not entirely illegal. 
Maybe it's not entirely legal, but doesn't the world deserve to know who the best kicker is, Junior? Junior, we know you're a good kicker. But you didn't have to do any of this to prove that to your real friends. You already have their respect on the kickball field. Isn't that enough? Well, yeah, but I guess I wanted to be more famous. Do you really want to be famous, or do you just want Hugo to like you? I just wanted to sit with my friends at lunch. Yeah, that's what it all comes down to. Uh, him having the right to sit with his friends at lunch, which I think it's bullshit. Oh my god, this. If you want to hang with me, Junior, you have to be awesome. But Junior is awesome. Hugo, his real friends don't care if he kicks a winning goal or not. And if you don't already see that, then you're not really his friend. Ah, I'm tired of you interfering, Larry boy. I challenge you to a duel. Whoever loses has to leave town forever. Again, you're the new kid, so you have no authority here, so you can't say that. Challenge accepted. Wait, what's a duel? Oh my god, his lip. He's <laughs> like, uh, wait, what's a duel? I've been even eating every last bit of food in this food court, proving Pratosauruses are the best eaters in the world. I challenge you to a burrito eating contest. You know what, this is, oh my god, this is the final boss battle, this is, Really? It's like missed opportunity. Like the Predosaurus could have grown into a giant behemoth of a monster and be like, rawr, rawr, and like attack the whole mall. But no, it's a burrito contest. A freaking burrito contest. <laughs> wow. Riveting. Oh no, my my aching stomach. I can't eat anymore. You have to know your limits. You go. Do you give up? Ah, I give up. See, kids, pride never helps you win. It ruins the fun for everyone, even yourself. We're sorry, Larry boy. We should have never listened to Hugo. Remember, God tells us to think about others before we think about ourselves. That way, we won't let a Pridosaurus get the best of us. Consider others as more important than yourselves. Philippians... Oh, wait. There's this. Why is this in tiny text? Why is part of it in tiny text and then the second half of it is huge? I almost didn't see that. Do nothing out of rivalry or deceit, but in humility. Consider others as more important than yourselves. Philippians 2, 3. So the Pridosaurus just goes back to his home planet. Okay, that was lame. <laughs> Here, let me turn it back over to me. Alright, so Pridosaurus was... Eh, didn't like it. I didn't like it. It was like, Pride... There's this theme of pride, and I think the Lego My Ego episode of the Cartoon Adventure series did the lesson way better than this. I mean, there was like a missed opportunity. The, Pri the Pridosaurus could have grown into a giant monster because of all the pride that's going on. And how all the kids are thinking highly about themselves. And making other people around them feel miserable. 
a Lego My Ego did this way better than this. They did the lesson way better because it's the super ego. They could have done a super ego with like the Predosaurus, like make him grow into a giant monster. Huh. So you know what? I'm gonna give it a three out of ten. Sorry, Predosaurus. But you're never gonna be the super ego. Did I even spell it right? No. Yeah, I said three out of ten. Uh, the Fid Factory. <sighs> yeah, there's like three more books, but I kind of want to save them for another live stream because my voice is hurting. <laughs> my voice is hurting and we read, but the good news is we, we read three books today. So we're going to make this into a continuation. So the next live stream I do, I'm not sure when that'll be, but I will, yeah, I will do the rest of these. I promise you. But yeah, this was a pretty good live stream, you guys. Um, let me read some of your comments real quick. Well, that came out of nowhere. I'm back where I miss. What kind of question is that? <laughs> What's a duel? It's like, you've been in how many fights, Larry Boy, and, like, you don't know what a duel is? And plus, it's like a, it's a burrito eating contest it's not epic like that predosaurus should have turned into a big ass monster and, and then go from there that could have been a boss battle missed opportunity yeah Sherlock Holmes does have Larry Boy in it but that was to give like a little teaser of the Larry Boy and the Bad Apple episode. <laughs> Alright, so I'm definitely going to make this into a two-parter. So the next time I live stream me reading these, I'm going to do the, these other three. I got to figure out, like, when I'll do another live stream because this coming Friday is a good Friday and it's gonna be Easter weekend probably like after Easter I'll do another live stream concerning these um, I'm not sure John um, you'll have to wait and see. Yeah, because I have other stuff that's planned. Alright, so this was a pretty good stream. Um, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Yeah, we read these three books. We gave them my rating. And I'll post my ratings on the community tab. Because I let you guys know what I think about these so far. They're lazy. They're ugh, generic. Blah, 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 blah. 
Um, and I'm also, like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm most likely gonna upload another Hat in Time video later on today. Yeah, I'm still editing it. I'm almost done with editing it, actually. So, expect another Hat in Time video today. So there's that. But anyways, you guys, thank you so much for tuning into the live stream. Leave a like on the stream, subscribe to the channel. If you want to support the show either way, there's Patreon, there's becoming a channel member, or you could just leave me a tip on uh, Ko-Fi. The link will be in the description. You could also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll let you bang a bang. I need to do more podcast episodes, but you never know. We'll have to wait and see. And you could also um, follow me on DeviantArt. Am I missing anything else? Um, oh, yeah. And turn on notifications if you want to know when I'm doing live streams or when I upload in another video. Dang the dog. Am I right, JV Plus? Eh. Eh. Dang the dong. <laughs> Alrighty. So, again, thank you so much for tuning in. And this has been your girl, Larry Boy Fanatic. The eyes and plunger ears of the Larry Boy Multiverse. And the multiverse got a little sucky because of these books. Ah. It was like, just like I want to throw them away. But they're part of the Larry Boy multiverse, unfortunately. Alrighty. See you guys.